Hey there guys, Ben here from Corner Flag Games and welcome back to episode number 35 of the Hibernian Road to a Glory Career Mode. So for this episode there will be another four games in here. So it will be two simulated and two played like always. So we'll now jump across into the calendar and see what games we have on offer in this game. So we have one game here against Motherwell in the league at home. Second one will be a St. Johnston. Uh, just over a week and a bit later. That one is also at home. And then we'll move into the January transfer window with a game against Livingston in the league. That one also at home. And then we'll cap it off with a rivals game against Hearts away in the league. So guys, we'll go and get our squad sorted and we'll move straight in to this next game. Okay guys, so here we are. We've picked our squad and we'll see in just a moment who we are going to use. We are going to play this first game at home against Motherwell in the league. So guys, without further ado, let's get in to this game. Okay guys, so here it is on the plains of Easter Road as our boys Hibernian play host to Motherwell. Okay guys, so here is the Hibernian lineup. It will be the backup brigade with Daniel Margush in goal, the back four of Sikasev, Ambrose, Hanlon, and Ivan Vojica to holding midfielders in Daniel Geraldo and Steven Yugarkovic. Three in the higher midfield with Horgan on the left, Yang Pong on the right, and Dennis Moores in the center attacking mid. Tony Watt up front as the striker. On screen right now is the Motherwell lineup. It will be Gillespie in goal, a back three of Donnelly, Dunn, and Hartley. Five in the midfield in Tanner, McHugh, Bigarama, Rodriguez, and Mowat, and two up front in Elder and Luati. Without further ado, it will be the boys of Hibernian to get things underway. As you saw at the start of the lineups, we do have the backup brigade in for this one. Don't have any games in uh, the Europa League coming up for a little bit of time, but we'll push right on and see if we can get some wins on the ball. We do, in this period, have to try and start chasing down Celtic as well. Geraldo looks that one straight through to Hanlon. It's a heavy one, though. And it looks like today the boys do not want to pass the ball properly. One at the back stick. Hung up. McHugh gets ahead to it. And it sails straight over the bar. Here it is on the replay. It's a great cross all the way in. We had a man in front. Just manages to tip his way in front of him. But we can survive another day. Ivan it with a class touch there. Can we spray a ball through? No. Blocked on the way through. Get that one straight through. Yen Pong. It's a clean touch on to Dennis Morse. Can Dennis Morse pull that one across to Tony Watt? And Tony Watt has done it, ladies and gentlemen. He's managed to flick one into the back of the net with some bright play down that far touch line side. All the way from defence from the goal kick. But we've managed to do it in a game where we looked like we were the ones that were going to be falling apart. We've brought ourselves one goal ahead. Here it is on the replay. It's a quick fire touch all the way from Yen Pong to Dennis Morse. Dennis Morse not comfortable with the shot. Flicks it on the inside to an onside Tony Watt. And Tony Watt just flicks that one with his left boot. Oh, and it takes a massive deflection on the defender on the way through too. And the goal does come to Tony Watt. That's six goals now for him in the Scottish Prem. And it will be Motherwell to get things off and running for the remainder of this first half. They've done quite well for a team who's playing three at the back only. They've managed to compact things in the midfield and make things difficult for us, hard for us to play through. And as we say that, they are on the counter-attack. It is Mowat out wide to Elder. Luati sprays in a ball through. There's the strike. Daniel Margush, safety on that one. But he's, they've screwed up and given it to a Yang Pong. It's Morse from outside the box. And that's a great save there by Gillespie, the Motherwell keeper. Two minutes of extra time to play in this fixture. And it is Steven Ugarkovic who comes away with it. Geraldo tries to go out towards the touchline. But ladies and gents, that will do us for the first half against Motherwell. We're struggling to make it through their midfield. They're just compressing numbers there. And we are finding it rather difficult. But we do have one notch on the board. And as the boys roll into the sheds at halftime, it will be Hibernian 1, Motherwell 0. So ladies and gents, here are the match facts at the halftime break. So for Hibernian, it is one goal, two shots, one on target, with a shooting accuracy of 50%. Two Motherwell, zero goals, two shots, one on target, with a shooting accuracy of 50%. We are leading the stake ever so slightly in the passing accuracy, with 87% to us and 83% to Motherwell, bossing the possession with 58% to us and 42% to 
to Motherwell. So guys, without further ado, we're going to smash straight on with this second half. And it will be Motherwell to kick things off for the second half. So we've struggled with that midfield of theirs. But as I say that, it will be Dennis Moores who takes a touch on. He's too weak to hold his man off. We've managed to hold things up against their rather compact and compressed midfield. They've got bodies everywhere. Very difficult for us to get anything off in it. And as I say that, it is Geraldo who takes a heavy touch. Yeah, we'll push on through. A Yang Pong. It's fallen to Tony Watt. Can he get one across? Yugarkovic finds Geraldo. There's the strike. It's a weak one from Daryl Horgan. And a comfortable save by Gillespie. Tony Watt, come on, Dennis Moores, make a run. He's not going to make one. Can we get that one through to a Ying Pong? Is he on side? He is a Ying Pong, and he sprays it stupidly wide. What is he doing? Second throw in now for Daryl Horgan, this time back to Bakayoko. But it's hitting Horgan on the way through. Horgan's found a man at the back stick. It is a Ying Pong. Oh, and he scuffed the head of that time as well. Here it is on the replay. We get that. Cross in. It's fantastic. It's unmarked at the back stick. And that's the second shot that he's butchered now. Through to Daryl Horgan. And he busts the gut down the line again. He does. And he's going to turn this one on the inside. Run into some space. Fuck it, son. Have it yourself. Oh! And the keeper has tipped it away, Gillespie. He's done well there. Mallon just checked in. Geraldo straight through. What? Mallon? Mallon, get your shot off! Mallon's pegged one in the top corner, ladies and gents. In the 90th minute, we've hit extra time. And it is the substitute, Stevie Mallon, who's come on and he's banged that one into the top bins. Here it is, ladies and gents. Some quick fire passing. One, two, straight through. Takes the touch and just lifts it up, especially over the defender's foot. And he's just cranked it into the back corner. Bodies flying everywhere. And that is a class shot by the attacking midfielder. And the goal does come to Stevie Mallon. It's his first one now in the Scottish Prem. And here they are with their tails between their legs. Motherwell, they're three at the back. And that will do us, ladies and gents. That is a game over. So the boys come out and push as hard as they can. But in that very, very heavy midfield that Motherwell have, we found it very difficult in the first half to break it down and get around them. But at the end of 90 minutes, it does finish. Hibernian 2, Motherwell nil. Okay guys, so here are the match facts after our 90 minutes against Motherwell. So for Hibernian, it is two goals, seven shots, three on target with a shooting accuracy of 42%. Two Motherwell's zero goals, two shots, one on target with a shooting accuracy of 50%. We did drop off in the passing accuracy, but yet again, so did Motherwell. With 83% lying to us, 74% to Motherwell. And the possession stakes, we did manage to hold that one quite high up with 57% to us and a 43% to Motherwell. So ladies and gents, we do have ourselves a little bit of good news all those months and months ago when we had an injury to one of our players, but the medical staff have now cleared Martin Boyle to return from his injury. He is going to start training with the squad, so hopefully it will be good to see him back in action very soon. Okay guys, so we are now going to move into today's second game, and it is a home game against St. Johnston in the league, and this is going to be a simulated game. So as you can see on the left-hand side, we are running the backup brigade. Two games in a row against uh, our opposition in this one. So we're just going to quickly snap through this one. And it is a comfortable 2-0 win with goals coming to Geraldo and Tony Watt. With an injury, though, coming to Hanlon. Okay, guys. So here it is. Here is the injury notification for Hanlon. And it's only a pull groin, so he's only going to be out for the next seven days. Okay, guys. So moving into today's third game, we are at home to Livingston in the league. So guys, without further ado, we're just going to jump straight in and get this game done. Okay guys, so here we go. It's another home game where we will face off against more compatriots being Livingston at Easter Road. So guys, here is the Hibernian lineup. It's the first team with Claudio back in goal. A back four of Murillo, Meccano, Flavio and Czech Keita. Shepolev and Canuse will hold up the defensive midfield with Dimi Petranos on the right. Latif Blessing on the left. Taliska through the middle. And Florian Kimberry up front as the striker. Here is the Livingston lineup. It will be Stewart in goal. A back five in Saunders, Halkett, Lithgow, Lammy, 
and Lawless. Lawson, Sibold, and Serena in the midfield with Pittman and Sansuors up front. And it will be the boys of Easter Road to get things going in this fixture. Now, I don't think we've played Livingston all that many times on screen before, so I figured I'd take this game uh, instead of the one against um, Hearts coming later on. We've had plenty of derbies in this series that we've that we've watched over time. I figured give the limelight to some of the lesser teams in this season and, you know, see how we go. Lavio gets the knock on the way through to Liska. Can he hold off his man? He does. He's going to go straight through here to Dimi Petrados, who's found a bit of time and space. Here we go into Kimberry. Kimberry slaps it, and he smacks it against the side netting. That was a fantastic chance by the young striker. Comes in, absolutely lays his foot through, just a little bit too far forward, and it rolls through. Corner now, Dimi Petrados to take it, winds it up, there's the pitch, and there's the shot, and it is Blessing, who's, oh no, not Blessing, sorry, Murillo, who's headbutted that one out, straight over the bar, as you can see here from the corner, it's well whipped in by Dimi, and Mercado just finds not enough to get over the back of it. Source now, Kemperi, there's the wind up, and Stewart gets down to it, it was a fantastic shot there. And I think it might have been Shepelev who came storming through there. He smacks it from just outside the D. The great stop by the goalkeeper as well. And that's up another corner. Dimi Petrados to take it. It's near post. It's Taliska. And it is the side netting once more. Inside now for Shepelev. Shepelev winds one up to Murillo. Murillo's going to find Kenberry. Back to Taliska. Finds Kenberry. Kenberry! And on the last couple of minutes of extra time, it is that man there, Florian Kemperi, who smacks one with great power into the back of the net. You can see here running all the way through, there's the layoff to Talisco, just waiting with the ball. And he's just come through and absolutely put his foot through that one. That is an absolutely fantastic strike by the striker. The goal does come to Florian Kenberry. It's seven goals now for him in the Scottish Prem. And with not long left to go in this first half, Livingston will kick things back off. And there it is. Without further ado, guys, that will be the end of the first half. So we pushed rather, rather high. There's going to be quite a lot of highlights in this game. And there's that man there. His goal, Florian Kenberry, to put us through at half time. So at the halftime break, lads, it is Hibernium 1, Livingston 0. So ladies and gents, here are the match packs at the halftime break. So for us, it is one goal, nine shots, three on target with a shooting accuracy of 33% to Livingston's zero goal, zero shots, zero on target with a shooting accuracy of a big fat duck. Our passing accuracy is absolutely smashing theirs with 82% to their 67%. And we are bossing with possession 64%. To a Livingston at 36%. So, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump straight in with this second half. And as Livingston kicked things off for the second half, it has been absolute domination in this game. Too bad there is not enough goals for us to show for it. I would expect that we should have had at least three by now based on the statistics that we saw at half time. Fall in now to Latif Blessing, who's looking for a one two, but it's not gonna come. Can Berry straight through to Taliska. Can we get that one through to Blessing? Yes, we do. Come on, Blessing, mate, put one in. He's gone so low. Can he pick up the second? And he does, and he misses it from the six yard box. That is absolutely atrocious. Berry it. finish your dinner, son. Oh, it did take a deflection. Shepelev. Flicks one through now to Michael Murillo. Dances pass through a few more. He's got some option here. Oh, a weird foot gets in the way there and it does fall to Stewart's hand. Serena taken out by Canuse on the way through. Let's see if Blessing now on his own. Can he find a mark over there in Dimi Petrados? He does, Dimi takes it first time strike to Liska and to Liska cleans up the dinner. He's done it. He's done what no other man in this side can do. And he's picking up off the scraps at the right place at the right time. As you can see, it's a great ball out wide to find Dimi Petrados. He takes his strike, but there on the left boot, it is Anderson Taliska lurking in the box, just waiting to get the right angle to tap that one straight back. And that goal does come to Anderson Taliska at six now. It's six goals for him now in the Scottish Prem. 
and Livingston will kick things off. So at the 70 minute mark, we are up and away. Again, I would have expected more goals in this fixture, but I might even have a look at my look to my bench in a minute and see if we can give some of the young lads a bit of a run in this fixture. It's a bit of a lazy response by him. Kicks it straight through. Sheffield back to Taliska. Winds it up. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, in the 75th minute. Anderson Taliska, the distance shooter, manages to find the back of the net twice in under 10 minutes. And here it is on the way through. He gets his 1-2 with what looks to be Russell Canuse. Takes the touch and then just lines it up and has it. Thank you very much, Mum. Off he goes. The number 34 absolutely wraps his boot around that one. Keeper had no chance. And that goal has come to Edison Taliska. It's seven goals now in the Scottish Prem. And on the back of that goal, we do make some substitutes, giving some of the younger lads a bit of a run. So I'm pretty sure we've got Ollie Shaw coming on for Taliska, and he will play up front. Canberry will now move out to the right wing. And Petrados will move into the middle. Hornshaw has come on for Czech Kata, who's a midfielder that can... Oh, my days, lads. I was about to say he's a midfielder that can also play left back. But in saying that, it is one of the substitutes who we've brought on. It is Ollie Shaw. He's found a bit of space here in the middle, lined it up with Dimi Petrados. Dimi runs him on, and he just calm and collectively just manages to put that one past the goalkeeper across the face. Too low for the keeper to get down to. The goal does come to Ollie Shaw. It's his first goal in the Scottish Prem. And we are off and running once more. Even the young lads are doing it. And I'm pretty sure we've brought on young Lindsay, who's a centre-back. Uh, he will be playing in the defensive midfield for Kamuse, who is a little bit spent at the moment. Ollie Shaw once more straight through the gap. Keeper's coming out, takes the touch. There's the strike, and he's bent it wide. Oh, the young lad are so unlucky there. Now, now in the extra time of the second half. And we managed to sneak another one through and get an absolute route across on Livingston. No, and that will do us, ladies and gents, for this game. So we come out in the fixture against Livingston and played the first team. After what happened last time, I'm pretty sure last time they beat us. So we've gone all out, and it is that man there, Anderson Taliska, bagging himself a brace, and putting us through in a good stead. So at the end of 90 minutes, it does finish. Hibernian 4, Livingston 0. Okay, guys, so here are the match packs after our 90 minutes against Livingston, and Jesus Christ, ladies and gents, have a look at some of those statistics. So for Hibernian, it is 4 goals, 16 shots, 8 on target with a shooting accuracy of 50%. To Livingston, zero goals, two shots, two on target with shooting accuracy of 100%. Now, passing accuracy did drop off, and this did skyrocket with 78% coming to us, and 81% to Livingston. And we went out on the possession with 59%, but they did claw a little bit back, giving themselves a 41%. Okay, guys, so moving into today's fourth and final game, this is going to be a simulated game against our arrivals. Hearts away in the Scottish Premier League, as you can see on the right hand side. We are running out with the backup brigade in this one due to the fact that. We have a rather important game straight up after this one. So we're just going to smash through this one. And it is a one-all draw. Okay, guys. So that about wrap things up for today's episode. So as you can see on screen, we do have a very big game coming up in our next episode. And that one is away to Rangers, who are sitting second place in the league after 20 games. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and feedback down below. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already and tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that aren't aware, please jump in and join in all the fun and in all the banter on the official Corner Flag Games Discord server. Links will be on screen and in the description below. And for all those that aren't aware, we are doing a live stream series now with a couple of different clubs and a couple of different styles. So make sure you are following on my Twitch and make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and tick the notification bell to get the notifications for when I go live there. The link for my Twitch channel will be on screen right now. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Hibernian Road to Glory career mode soon. Oh yeah!